Well, hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Driving Ed Vlog. Uh, me, Driving Ed, and I am bringing you this uh, vlog um, fresh out the pot. We are transporting a brand new coach from Napanee, Indiana to Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, it's a five day trip and about a distance of 2,000 miles. So, um, if you do a little bit of quick math, uh, five day trip, 2,000 miles, uh, about, uh, we'll probably be averaging about 400 miles a day. Well, that'd be, that's the average, but it'll be a little bit more than that each day. So, um, let's see what else. Uh, I can't think of anything else to really uh, elaborate on this short little clip other than um, if you have any uh, questions. Um, if you like the video, yeah, thumbs up. Um, if you want to get a notification of when I post some more stuff up, uh, just uh, click the notification button. And if you just like this channel for whatever reason, uh, then hit the subscribe button. So uh, I'm on location in uh, Milpitas, California right now um, because I had to uh, reposition myself um, after I drop off in order to pick up another vehicle and transport that to the PNW. So I'll elaborate on more of that in a little bit. So anyway, enjoy. So I'm just gonna go walk from the front to back a little bit. So on the, um, so right here is just my stuff that I carry, uh, two of my chicken bags. Um, this should not be like this. I don't know. Anyway, uh, my other bag, um, I forget how many seats are down here, but total capacity is like 78. Um, let's see, 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 16, 18, 20, 22. Okay, 22, so 78, take away 22 from 78 is uh, 56. So, yeah, 56 seats are upstairs and 22 downstairs. And this is what it looks like upstairs. So we're gonna go inside Walmart there and uh, get some necessities and then we'll get back on the highway. So I just shut the bus off and you notice that buzzing noise there in the background. So that noise I'll talk about right now, it is um, uh, diesel buses manufactured um, from 2010 and up they have what's called DEF or diesel exhaust fluid so what you're hearing is the diesel exhaust fluid being pumped back into the uh, reservoir tank and the reservoir tank is right next to the fuel tank so the reservoir tank I believe is right behind this panel somewhere here well I can feel it so it's yeah it's right here and the diesel tank is right there so if anybody is familiar with double-decker buses, the fuel tanks, they used to be where my luggage is. That, that's where the fuel tanks used to be. But for um, the, these newer double-decker buses, they put them back here for weight distribution, I guess. But yeah, um, what you're hearing is the DEF being purged back into the um, diesel exhaust fluid being purged back into the tank. See, it stopped. So it's, it's um, uh, finished purging all the uh, fluid back into the um, its DEF uh, tank. So in a nutshell, um, diesel exhaust fluid, it is an emissions control liquid. And it is basically um, used in um, modern um, diesel engines and vehicles, um, 2010 and newer. Um, and it reduces uh, emissions greatly um, to a point where you will not see any um, emissions coming out of the exhaust pipe whatsoever. All right, folks, good evening. So we are here in uh, Collinsville, Illinois. So uh, without further ado, I decided to uh, make some uh, tweaks to my trip. And what we're going to do uh, tonight, overnight here in Collinsville, I was going to go to uh, 
while in Missouri and overnight there, but I it, it just dawned to me that uh, the hotel I like to stay at, um, you know, uh, being that I'm a large vehicle and that, uh, you know, late at night there may not be uh, that much parking for me when I get there. So, um, here in Collinsville, uh, there's a huge parking lot and in fact, um, the hotel I'm staying at, um, across the street, um, is a parking lot that is shared with the Days Inn and the uh, Hilton brand that I'm staying at. And um, so I think this is better. And uh, there's all kinds of parking up here. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so we'll, we'll do that for tonight. Tonight is Tuesday. Wednesday, uh, tonight, yeah, tonight here in Collinsville. And then uh, Wednesday, tomorrow, we will um, take the uh, take the belt around St. Louis and get back on the 44, make our way down to Oklahoma City, and we will, uh, debating on whether we will uh, overnight and... Uh, Yukon or Weatherford, and then Thursday, um, we'll overnight in New Mexico, and then Friday uh, into Las Vegas. So that is the plan. And let's get our bags and grab some food and have a good night's sleep. So the fluid there, well, that's not fluid, that's just water. Um, it's the condensation from the uh, air conditioning. Like you see all that water? <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, I have the uh, air conditioner set to 72 and uh, it works. All right, well, we're here. And uh, my bus is across the street there. Tall son of a, yeah. <laughs> language, language. All right, well, uh, okay, I don't understand why they would put a laptop here. I mean, what? I don't understand why they would put a microwave here on the work desk, but okay. wasn't there last night <laughs> well, anyway there's my bus across the street you might be wondering well why is the bus parked across the street is because this particular hotel parking lot is small and so the manager last night um mentioned that the um that the uh owners of this property here um uh built um the parking lot across the street so they uh, share it with um days in which is across the street there so um if that makes sense but uh, yeah look at how, how tall the the uh, bushes of corn is um behind the bus that's uh, pretty cool well you know and that bus is 13 feet six inches tall so it's just as tall as a um a tractor trailer truck so wherever they can go i can go but wow that's uh those bushes of corn are uh, really tall that well actually well i mean it's not completely frozen because you, you can kind of see it's breaking up but um wow that's good though because later on um in the morning i'm going to have nothing but uh cold 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 water so that's good this refrigerator is excellent you know, I forgot to tell you guys, so last night I had a, I had ordered a pizza from Domino's. I didn't eat the whole thing. I just had half of it. And then, as a courtesy, they gave me um, an order of, uh, I don't know what this is. I didn't even eat it, but they gave me an order. Oh, the nuggets. Yeah, I I, I didn't eat those. It's, um, I could have put it in the freeze in a refrigerator, but I wasn't thinking this. Week. Oh, Jesus, it's frozen. I didn't think it was going to be frozen. 
All right, folks, so now we're back in the bus, and uh, we're all nice and warmed up. We did our pre-trip. We started off all, and um, we uh, walked around the bus and uh, make sure that there wasn't anything out of the ordinary uh, nor any mystery damage uh, that could happen overnight. Um, and uh, we're good to go. So um, tonight we're going to uh, wind up in, in uh, somewhere in Oklahoma. Um, uh, I'm kind of partial, maybe uh, Yukon, Oklahoma, or maybe a little bit further. Um, I'm thinking maybe Weatherford, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. So, all right. See ya. Hey guys, it's me. So we're here in uh, Joplin, Missouri. We're at Walmart here. Um, gives us uh, probably going to spend about 30, 40 minutes here. Um, walk around and uh, do a little bit of uh, shopping for some stuff that I need. Not much, but um, yeah. So uh, so far I've got uh, some painter's tape. Um, I ran out actually uh, the painter's tape. Painter's tape I use uh, to uh, hang up the uh, legal um, my legals on the windshield, uh, which I will explain later. And then uh, I got uh, this uh, two pack of deodorant here. It was on sale for three dollars. So. Um, I got that and, uh, glass cleaner wipes, um, and then, uh, this windshield repair kit is, is for my personal car. I think there is, I can't remember or not, but I think there's a chip on my windshield. So I want to, uh, see if I can repair it myself, then, then uh, hiring somebody to, uh, do it for me or going through my insurance. So, um, let's see. Uh, things like a rock chip, but anyway. I know this doesn't pertain to what I'm doing now, but that uh, that probable dex cool is uh, pretty reasonable. So when I'm on the road and I need to do laundry, um, instead of shopping for liquid or powdered detergent. Um, it is convenient for me to buy like the uh, the, the pods and then uh, the pods and then uh, pack them in my um, check bags. It, it makes it easier um, for me in case if I'm on the road and I need to do laundry. These are these uh, Thai oxy pot, oxy pods are eight ninety four. What's the difference between let's see odor fighter? Scent, linen, refreshing breeze, and linen. Okay, just the fragrance. Actually. They all do the same. Oh, well, these are seven ninety seven. How many you get in these? Okay, you get forty three. And then with these, you get. Well, let's see. The Arm and Hammer they're a dollar cheaper, and the and the Arm and Hammer comes with forty two. You get forty three in these. So. Uh, you know, I've never had the Arm & Hammer before. I'm going to try this and see how it is. Yeah. Wish me luck. Yeah, and then there's some more Type Pods over here. Uh, but those like the, the little ones. Um, the little packets on me. And then these are a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure as to why... Um, the regular Tide Pods are more than the, the Tide uh, Oxy Pods. Alright folks, so uh, yep, so we're done with Walmart and uh, we've actually just drove a couple minutes to the, um, the truck stop here because I forgot to go to the restroom. So I'm here at the Powder Flying J. Also just going to grab a cup of coffee too. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, after that, oh, yeah, we need to wash our windshields too. So uh, we'll do that. Um, run to the restroom, grab the coffee. Well, actually, no, in this order. Um, wash the windshield, and then I'll, I'll pull the bus forward because, you know, it's a common courtesy to, it's, yeah, it's courtesy to um, pull up and let, so that the other truck behind you can do his thing as well. So that's why there's a limit line uh, just past the uh, 
the, the pumps there where you can pull up to. Um, after that, I'll go inside, use the restroom, grab a coffee, and then we'll get back on the, uh, the highway here. We're probably about like three miles away from the uh, Missouri-Oklahoma border, across to Oklahoma, and we'll, we'll be on the uh, Oklahoma Turnpike, pay two tolls, and then um, and then uh, we'll get to Oklahoma City. So, uh, and the time right now is five o'clock, so we'll get to uh, Tulsa around, um, around, uh, let's see, maybe about uh, 6.50, 6.55, probably take about 10, 15 minutes there in Tulsa, then we get back on the highway. So we'll probably be in uh, Oklahoma City tonight by 8, 8.30, so, um, which is good because we'll, we'll take our 10 hours off in Yukon and then, um, what else? Uh, we'll take 10 hours off in Yukon and then, um, and then we'll leave, um, at around like 6.30, 6.45 from Yukon and then we'll, we'll get to Albuquerque at around 5 p.m. So, um, and then, um, uh, we'll most likely overnight there or we'll probably overnight, um, uh, maybe grants, the, depending on how much uh, driving time I have left. So, we'll see. Hey guys, it's me. So, uh, we are in, uh, Oklahoma, uh, Yukon, Oklahoma, um, our um, stop for tonight. Um, we're actually here at the uh, Pilot Flying J uh, fuel station here in uh, Yukon. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fuel up um, our coach. Um, we have about less than a quarter of a tank of fuel. And then uh, we also have about a quarter tank of DEF. So we'll be fueling both. Um, I cannot um, film um, while I'm fueling, and um, and uh, so I'm just going to tell you the process right now. So um, I have a fuel card, so I can either um, dip it here in the island, or I can um, go inside and um, have the fuel pre-authorized. And um, at the uh, truck stops, um, I actually have to um, back back into the stall because when you pull forward, the DEF dispenser is on the driver's side. However, um, the DEF tank on the bus is on the passenger side, so that's why I have to go in reverse. So. Um, a lot of times you get these uh, truckers that look at me like, what, you know, why in the hell is he back then backwards? And then um, they don't realize that uh, what I'm actually doing is getting DF. So, uh, with that being said, uh, it can create some confusion, but whatever, right? All right, kids, just want to come in here and show you uh, this Give you guys a room tour real quick. So this is a in here. Nice big TV. Got your microwave right in front of you. Coffee maker. Your fridge is behind here. That's what I remember. Yes, and. Uh, your air conditioning is on, nice king size bed. Um, the uh, three prong chargers and the um, uh, USB um, uh, air conditioning set to 60. Uh, I like it a little bit colder. Well, okay, all right, I don't want to piss it off. All right, 66. So, yeah, um, cool. All right, folks, good morning. And uh, we're in uh, Savory, Oklahoma. And uh, we're about 20 miles from the uh, Texas-New Mexico border. 
and uh, 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 we uh, had a good night's sleep last night, and uh, we woke up this morning, uh, walked around the hotel, um, showered, had a good breakfast, uh, refilled my coffee mug, and uh, black with sugar, as usual. And, uh, I'm not going to tell you how much sugar I put in my coffee, that's a secret. Anyway, um, so, but it's, it's not a lot because I, I, I do like the strong um, taste. I believe um, strong coffee makes one perky, especially when you're driving and stuff. I mean, that's just my, my opinion, but I know other uh, drivers, some may, may like it just straight black, some may like it with uh, cream only, and some may like it with cream and sugar, so it's like with sugar only, just like me, but anyway, uh, to each their own, right? So, Sabre, Oklahoma, uh, we just stop here just to stretch our legs and use the restroom. Uh, we're going to also watch the relationship uh, with the uh, squeegee uh, that's outside, so we uh, don't need to fuel, but the squeegees are um, at the fuel pump, so... Uh, we're going to do that first before we uh, go inside and uh, do some and stuff. So, uh, let's see. Today we're going to end our day in Gallup, New Mexico. So, if you come up home to Gallup, I think it's around 600 miles. Easy money. Um, what a lot of people may not know, um, is, is especially if you're not a close friend, um, I used to be a tour bus driver. Well, actually, uh, I used to drive a city, I began my driving career driving city buses, and then um, I've done that in uh, LA and Orange County, and then uh, and then I went and uh, drove for uh, tour buses and, uh, and uh, tour charter buses. I miss that scene a lot, dr uh, driving the tour buses. It allowed me, it gave me the experience that I have today, um, driving across the country, doing log books, and, uh, and uh, it's just that between being a transport driver and a tour bus driver, you, you don't have people on, on your bus, you're just uh, transporting vehicles from point A to point B, wherever they need to go. So that's the only difference, but uh, uh, anyway, you know, then when COVID, you know, um, came about, uh, I remember at the time um, I was working for my, my other company, um, I had, I guess, I think it was, shucks, what was it, uh, the day before, um, like, uh, the governor of California started locking down his state, um, the uh, the day before he did that, I had got a phone call from my boss saying, hey, you know, you got a, a two-week uh, trip um, with a, a, the German group uh, that you had last year. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> you know, so, um, and uh, I was so excited about that. And then when they started closing down the, you know, states and stuff, um, and, and, you know, the charter businesses, um, kind of went downhill too, so, uh, and then, um, uh, through another employee that works at the same company that I am right now, uh, here I am uh, doing the transport, uh, driver work, and I absolutely love it because I get to travel the whole country. Now, you know, I've traveled 49 out of 50 states. And you can pretty much guess which one that I haven't been to, and it's blocked by another. It's, it's between the mainland and Canada. So. But one day I'll go to Alaska soon. All right, enough about me. Let's watch the windshield and um, go use the restroom and get out of here. We're in Gallup, New Mexico, so the Arizona border is about uh, less than 20 miles. Ow. Um, from here so once we cross into arizona um it gets into uh, its pacific standard time um since arizona um does not observe daylight savings time so um we'll Im immediately lose that hour um and then uh, we'll actually know we'll gain that hour and then um 
So the plan is to make uh, three stops between Gallup and Las Vegas, and uh, one in Winslow, Arizona, the other one in um, uh, Kingman, Arizona, and then the other one in uh, White Hills, Arizona, which is uh, between um, Kingman and Boulder City. There's a fuel, there's a couple fuel stations there, so you have to fuel the bus. So Kingman is where we get it washed, and um, and then um, bada bing, bada boom. So, all right, folks, uh, um, downstairs, um, this hotel has a um, restaurant inside. And, then there's a Applebee's across the parking lot, so I'm just going to go to Applebee's real quick and get something to go. So, okay, um, see you later. All right, hello, good morning, folks. It's um, it is a 6:15 a.m. Uh, mountain Time. We're in Gallup, New Mexico. We're about 20 minutes away uh, from the uh, Arizona border. And which it is Pacific time once we cross over into uh, Arizona, so we'll gain an hour back. Um, so we're in Gallup, New Mexico this morning. Um, right to uh, work the trucks that that's uh, Interstate 40, um, and then you got the town on the this side of the tracks, uh, this side of freeway, and then the other side of the freeway. Uh, the Amtrak station is over there. Um, and then there's like a little uh, rain cloud right there. You see the moisture and stuff. Uh, transit bus, little cutaway, whatever. Um, this is the hotel I stayed at here um, overnight. Um, and um, here's the Applebee's. And then there's the Home Depot. And right around that tree, uh, walking distance, I'll show you right now is uh walmart right up right yeah right over there that's uh walmart so are we about another uh 400 miles until we deliver this bus to las vegas all right hey guys so we're finally in las vegas it's uh about two it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's almost 2 30 p.m so um i'm here at the um I'm here at the truck wash, um, just um, off of, uh, what is this, uh, Valley View and um, Blue Diamond. Um, usually I, I like to go to Blue Beacon to get the bus wash, but Blue Beacon, the line is all the way out to the street. It's crazy, you know, and uh, Blue Beacon, uh, it'll probably take, uh, it'll probably take like about, you know what, the last time I went to Blue Beacon, it took me about two hours to get out of there. So when I came over here to uh, Golden, just off of um, Blue Diamond and uh, Valley View, there was not a line and uh, it just works out perfect, you know. So um, just doing a basic wash here. Uh, they're just going to, um, they're going to uh, just put some soap, soap and water on it. Um, then, uh, where I deliver to Las Vegas is, uh, literally about, uh, five minutes away. So it works out perfect for me. And then after that, I'm um, got to go to Oakland and start my next assignment for tomorrow. So I usually take Southwest to get up to the Bay area, but, uh, today, um, today I'm taking, um, I'm taking, uh, what's the airline, uh, JSX, which uh, stands for uh, Jet Suites X. So uh, it'll be my first time taking it and I'm excited about that, so. All right, guys, uh, yeah. Um, now, I won't be able to uh, show you like inside the yard or any of that stuff, so. But uh, it's a big, big place, lots of buses there. One of two bus garages here in Las Vegas, so. Uh, and that's it. Yep, so, all right, see ya. And all right, folks, over so here in Las Vegas, we just dropped off the coach to the customer, and um, we're done. We got the paperwork signed, and um, well, first and foremost, the customer did the walk around on the vehicle and made sure that there was no tra uh, no damage um, um, en route from the factory to here 
and um, sign off on the paperwork. Got police number and boom route. So next up is to the airport. This is uh, all um, uh, smoke from the fire um, in uh, Northern California and uh, vicinity. And this is my car. And there's a lot of uh, ash, <laughs> a lot of dirt and ash from it. Um, crazy, ain't it? So, wow. Interesting. Um, if you like what you see, um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe. I'll try my best and bring some more of uh, this content out. Um, I will do some educational um, stuff too um, as well. So um, not just vlogs, but a little mixture of everything. So, all right. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do... Um, for my day off uh, i think i am going to um because i'm into like uh freight trains and railroading and stuff so uh i might uh let me see i might hang hang around in the central valley and um and uh, shoot some train stuff um i do have like uh radio scanners and <laughs> I, I have radio scanners and um and uh and my camera equipment to uh keep me busy that bus right there uh that is a brand new gillick bus um going to uh cincinnati um ohio there uh, for cincinnati metro that's on this delivery journey all right guys so uh in conclusion finally um Thank you for watching and uh, hope you guys take care of yourselves, all right?